Hello and welcome back to my channel. I really hope you enjoyed this one. This is one of my favorite masks. I do this once a week. This is the mask that gives me moisture whenever my skin feels dry and in need of hydration. This is my go-to mask basically. It will moisturize your skin, it will brighten up your complexion. It's just an easy mask to prepare and you'll have the moisture just like that. This sheet mask is perfect for combination skin dry skin, mature skin would benefit from this mask a lot because it's gonna infuse your skin with hydration. I know it's also good for people with redness and I suffer with redness. Uh, it leaves my skin brightened and dewy. If you have sensitive skin though, make sure you test, always test the masks, any masks on a small area under your jawline, on your face to see how your skin would react or you could just test it on your hand, you know, if you want to see how the ingredients would react uh, with your skin. Let me show you the recipe. We're gonna need almond milk, unsweetened almond milk. This is a very vegan friendly mask as well. Uh, I'm also gonna put some aloe vera gel in this mask. It's amazing for hydration and it's soothing and moisturizing, so it's perfect. And the linseeds, flash, flaxseed flush, what is flush? Flax seeds they're called in the US and I like to keep them uh, grind like that because I can also incorporate them in my smoothies in the morning or they're just ready to be added into any masks I desire. Also the compressed sheet masks, they look very cute, they're like little pills and they come individually wrapped which is great. And these are gonna just expand, you're gonna see in the, into the liquid we're gonna put them in. I'm gonna also use a jar because I like using a jar to just mix the mask, shake it, to shake the mask. You can skip this if you don't want to use a jar, you can just leave the mask, the compressed the, the pill mask into the bowl, but it's up to you. So taking a bowl, we're gonna first put the almond milk in and I used about five tablespoons of almond milk and I warmed it up in the microwave for about 15 seconds or so and then adding one teaspoon of the linseeds, fla flax seeds, how they're called in the US so linseeds slash flax seeds mixing them really well in there and then adding one teaspoon of the aloe vera gel which looks really cool mixing that in really really well as well it's kind of hard to mix aloe vera gel but just do your best and then I'm gonna add it into this jar because I don't know I like to shake this jar and in my mind it just feels like the mask will absorb better the liquid but you can just leave it into the bowl it's up to you this looks like that it's really kind of cool and shake 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 I just put my hair up, something comfy on. You don't want to spill anything on your nice clothes. I always want to stay comfortable when I create masks. My son is pulling at the door. Sorry? I want to see mommy. Daddy said, I need to eat it. Daddy said that, mommy. Yeah, my son eats a lot of cheese. He loves cheese. If he could have cheese instead of tea, that would be amazing for him. So I had this soak for about five minutes. You can leave it for longer because it will absorb more of the good stuff if you leave it for 10 minutes or 15. You can forget about it and, I don't know, give your son cheese and then take the mask and apply it. So let's open this thing. Just absorbed this liquid in. So I've cleaned my skin, removed all of my makeup with lukewarm water. If you can, you can do this mask after a shower or a bath or, you, you know, you can just, just make sure your pores are open and ready to receive the goodness. So now I'm going to open up this thing. It just turned into this. It turned into this weird looking scary mask. That's kind of, yeah. But it does the job and it's just so easy to use. I'm gonna apply it here like that, spreading the mask all over my face. It doesn't cover all of my, doesn't cover all of my face, so maybe I have a big face. Maybe this mask is smaller. I don't know. If you know of any other compressed sheet masks out there that are bigger, just let me know. I don't know if they come in sizes, but these are a bit on the small side, so I'm trying to spread them as much as I can. And I find that 
cutting them a bit with the scissors there will make them stick on the skin on the bits of the skin where it doesn't stick so i'm gonna carefully cut that if you do that please be careful with the scissor just carefully cut that a bit so you can get the mask to just stick there or <laughs> if you have bigger sheet masks that's even better you don't have to do that and it doesn't cover all of my nose because i have a big nose i don't know i don't know but i just add the mixture i did on my nose or on my forehead there above you see where it, the mask doesn't cover so you know you can just do that um cutting away if you hear some banging on the background it's a neighbor just doing some things outside i don't know so i apologize for that there you go if you have extra mixture in there you can apply that on top of the sheet mask or on the bits of the skin where the sheet mask maybe doesn't cover it's up to you you can just throw it away or you can just spread it across your neck or your cleavage because it's gonna moisturize wherever you put this on so yeah sorry for the banging in the background exactly now this is happening typical that's how it looks you leave it on for 15 minutes cheese. i gave him cheese but he wants more okay so you just take it off right now my skin it's very it's lightened I don't know if you can tell on this light, this light is warm like that, it just lightened up the skin and I don't know if you can tell with this yellow light in here, I'm obviously in uh, my downstairs bathroom and don't have daylight in here, but my skin feels just lovely, I, I need to remove this now. Yeah, go ahead and remove everything, I have the little glove that helps me out, you can just remove it just with lukewarm water with your hands or using something of flannel. Then you have to moisturize your skin and I absolutely love this mask, it will hydrate, it will help with redness, look look how brightened my skin is, it just feels dewy to the touch and hydrated, I just love this mask. This is part of my mask routine, this mask, I just do this mask once a week or twice a week sometimes i absolutely love it i hope you enjoyed it so i hope you enjoyed this mask and it will become one of your favorites those little tablets are so cute as well um they're just whoever invented that is a clever person if you find this mask to be helpful to you and your skin please hit like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this Thank you so much for watching and until next video, bye!